Hey guys, it's Mark with SEO Freak. And in this series of videos, I'm gonna introduce you to one of the best and free SEO tools out there, Google Search Console. And I will completely break down how to use this tool for kick-ass SEO. Google Search Console is a wickedly powerful tool and best of all, it's free. Google gives you valuable insights about keyword rankings, search terms used to find your website, and it provides a window into the way Googlebot crawls and indexes your website. You can also submit sitemaps and new articles for crawling, making sure they are indexed more rapidly. Now, in this tutorial, I'm gonna cover the basics of Google Search Console, how to set it up, how to add your website, and how to analyze your website's organic traffic performance. I'll also go into how I use it for keyword research and to identify content gaps that represent big opportunities to rank more rapidly. Finally, we'll get into some more of the complex topics like analyzing index video pages, mobile usability, and page experience. Buckle up for the ultimate Google Search Console tutorial for small business SEO. Why is Google Search Console important for small business SEO? Search engine optimization, SEO, is a critical part of every business's marketing strategy. If your customers can't find you on the internet, they can't find you, period. Google Search Console is the most accurate tool to be able to see how many search impressions and clicks you are getting. You can also identify opportunities for new articles and whether you've been impacted by a Google update or not. I've said it before, Google basically stands between you and your customers. You shall not pass! And while you don't need to be an SEO expert, it's important that you know enough to be dangerous. It's really simple to set up Google Search Console. Go to search.google.com forward slash search dash console forward slash welcome and log in using your Google account. After that, you'll see the following screen. You can add your website by domain or by URL prefix. Domain registration is the most comprehensive and automatically includes any subdomains like academy.seofreak.com and all URLs across HTTPS or HTTP, secure or insecure URLs. Sometimes we goof or there's an SSL error, so we want all of those covered. URL prefix registration only includes the naked domain or a single subdomain, which is helpful if you wanna analyze a subdomain's organic traffic on its own. But for this tutorial, we're gonna add our website via domain so we capture all organic traffic regardless of the domain structure. To get started with Search Console, you'll need to verify your website. Enter your website's main URL in the domain field. After you click Continue, you'll be given a string of characters to enter into your website host's DNS records. Click the Copy button and then go to your website host. I personally use SiteGround, but you should be able to find the DNS records under Site Tools or Webmaster Tools. In SiteGround, you'll see DNS Zone Editor under the Domain tab after clicking on Site Tools. Then enter the code Google gave you as a text record, a TXT record. Leave the domain section empty and you should be good to go. Now, once you've saved the text record, it may take up to 72 hours for Google to be able to register your verification in Search Console. So set it up, come back to it the next day. Once verified, Google will begin compiling all of the data from the index about your website and then populating it in Search Console. This process can also take a couple of days. In the meantime, you should add Search Console in Google Analytics to complete the integration. In Google Analytics 4, click on the gear icon at the lower left hand of your screen. Then scroll down to the bottom of the second column where you'll find a section called product links. Obviously click on search console links and then click to add a search console account. Now your Google account must be added to both your GA4 account and your search console account in order to link them together. Simply select your search console property, select the web stream for your website. There's probably only one and then click submit. Boom. It's that easy. And now you'll have access to some Search Console data in Google Analytics 
like search queries people are using to discover specific pages. Now that you're all set up, let's go over some of the main features of Google Search Console. Okay, so it's been a couple of days and you got some data in your Search Console account. Here's a rundown of the main features of Google Search Console. The main dashboard is your overview page. At the very top of the page, there's a search bar where you can enter a URL and inspect Google's information for that web page. This can also be used to submit a URL for indexing, which should be done every time you publish a new article or page. Then your main dashboard contains some quick information about your website's performance in Google search. At the top, you can click Search Console Insights to get some curated information about your website content performance over the last 28 days. You can see page views, average session duration, key search terms driving people to the website, top traffic channels, and even some backlinks that are driving traffic. I like to look at Search Console Insights every week. Below that, you'll see the overview of your website's clicks from Google Search and whether they came from Search Results or Google Discover, the homepage of Google's mobile search app that is custom curated for each user. This field covers the last three months. Now, remember that SEO is a long-term game, so it's good to zoom out and see your search impact over a long period of time. Next, you'll see some information about indexed pages like account of indexed pages and video pages. Moving on, we see the experience section, which tells us whether our website is loading fast, has a good mobile theme, and if Google detects any issues with how people are seeing the website in their browser. And finally, you'll see website enhancements like breadcrumbs, the site link search box, and videos. This is all related to structured data or schema. And there's even more in the sidebar menu. In the performance tab, you'll see graphs for your website's performance in Google Search and Discover. Indexing is where you'll see the data direct from Google's index regarding the status of your website pages, index video pages, sitemaps, and URL removal requests. Below that is the Experience tab, which gives you the data Google has about your website's page experience, core web vitals, mobile usability, and security. This helps you ensure your website's mobile friendly, secure, and loads fast. Enhancements covers whether your website has breadcrumbs for navigation, a site link search box, basically having a Google search bar on your website so users can easily find stuff, and results for your video schema, which should be enabled via an SEO tool. In the security and manual action sections, you will see whether Google has penalized your website manually for any terms of use violations or whether there are security issues like malware infections. Legacy tools and reports. But this section actually doesn't exist anymore. So if you click it, it will tell you that these tools are no longer available. Weird, and it'll probably be deprecated soon. Links. This section shows you top linked pages, referring sites, and also top internal links. These are critical for SEO success. And finally, the settings tab where you can add and manage users, see crawl data, and export Search Console data to BigQuery to mess around with it in detail. In the next video, I'm gonna cover the performance tab and how to analyze your website performance in Google Search and Discover. You'll be able to see your pages and keywords driving the most traffic and identify opportunities for growth with target keywords you're already ranking for, but could use some optimization. Now, if you're interested in learning more, please consider subscribing to this channel and visit my website at seofreak.com. I'll see you guys in the next video.